हेलो स्टूडेंट्स देयर इज अ गुड न्यूज़ फॉर यू नाउ यू कैन राइट द सेम मैटर एट डिफरेंट स्पीड्स लिंक ऑफ द सेम इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स थैंक यू स्टार्ट द पिटिशन हैज बीन स्ट्रॉन्गली ओपोज बाय लर्नड असिस्टेंट गवर्नमेंट लीडर बाय सबमिटिंग दैट द रिलायंस प्लेसड बाय द पिटिशनर अपोन द जजमेंट ऑफ द क्रिमिनल कोर्ट वुड नॉट हेल्प हिज केस इन एज मच एज इट इज ए सेटल्ड पोजिशन ऑफ लॉ दैट क्रिमिनल प्रोसीडिंग्स एंड डिपार्टमेंटल प्रोसीडिंग्स कैन गो ऑन साइड बाय साइड स्टॉप एंड एक्विटल इन ए क्रिमिनल केस डज नॉट मीन दैट द पिटिशनर ऑट टू बी एब्जॉल्व ऑटोमेटिकली इन द डिपार्टमेंटल इंक्वायरी और दैट द डिपार्टमेंटल इंक्वायरी अगेंस्ट हिम ऑट टू बी ड्रॉप्ड स्टॉप इट इज फर्दर सबमिटेड दैट द क्रिमिनल कोर्ट हैज एक्विटेड द पिटिशनर एज सफिशेंट एविडेंस वॉज नॉट फाउंड अगेंस्ट हिम विच डज नॉट मीन दैट ही हैज बीन ऑनरेबली एक्विटेड स्टॉप para it is further submitted by the learned assistant government pleader that in his defense before the inquiry officer the petitioner has categorically admitted the temporary misappropriation and has stated that he could not pay the telephone bills as he was not in a proper mental frame of mind due to the illness of his wife stop he has admitted that the bills were paid after a considerably long period of time stop in the present case there is an admission on the part of the petitioner which is not so in the criminal case stop the departmental proceedings therefore cannot be compared with the criminal case where the standard of proof is different stop para it is next submitted that the petitioner has raised the bills in the treasury to pay the telephone bills and has drawn the amount to stop it is only when the superior officer of the petitioner received a notice from the accounts officer of the telecom department stating that the telephone bills were not paid that he started an inquiry stop only thereafter did the petitioner pay the amount of the bills stop the petitioner has now come out with an explanation regarding his wife's illness which appears to be an afterthought stop therefore the penalty of reduction of one increment in the pay drawn by the petitioner for one year with future effect is just and proper stop para it is next contended that it is not the case of the petitioner that there is any lacuna of flaw in the departmental proceedings stop the petitioner is mainly relying upon the judgment of acquittal by the criminal court stop if there is no flaw or lacuna in the departmental proceedings the scope of interference by this court would be very limited stop para it is next submitted that the scope of a criminal proceeding and departmental inquiry are totally different and both proceedings require a different standard of proof stop acquittal in a criminal case cannot be equated with the penalty in departmental proceedings stop in support of the above submission reliance is placed upon the judgment of supreme court stop regarding the refusal of the competent authority to regularize the 
period of suspension the learned assistant government pleader has submitted that it is in the discretion of the said authority whether to regularize the suspension period or not as per rule 70 of the rules 2002 stop in the present case there is no illegality in the decision of the respondents in not regularizing the suspension period stop para it is further submitted that the fact that the petitioner has been acquitted in the criminal case does not automatically result in the regularization of the suspension period stop para regarding the submission advanced on behalf of the petitioner that the punishment is disproportionate to the alleged misconduct it is submitted by the learned assistant government pleader that the petitioner has admitted that he has committed temporary misappropriation of government money therefore it cannot be said that the punishment is shockingly disproportionate to the charge stop